My name is uh, Herbert Tiemens. I'm senior policy advisor for the city of Utrecht. And I'm happy to welcome uh, the delegation from Ireland uh, to show what we have done for cycling in this city. Utrecht is truly a bicycle city. A growing number of people commute to and across the city by bicycle, and it is both enjoyable and appealing. The Dutch give priority to the bicycle as a healthy, clean and safe mode of transport, which makes the streets and their cities more livable, attractive and accessible to everyone. Bike share schemes and a network of parking garages are located throughout the city and enhance people's ability to choose active travel on a daily basis. This can be useful if you regularly travel to and from Utrecht for work and it frees up more public space. Utrecht is on its way to becoming a world-class bicycle city and the easiest way of getting around is by bike. Every day approximately 90,000 cyclists travel to their work or school. In order to turn Utrecht into the ideal bike-friendly city, innovations were required. By building the largest bicycle parking facility in the world and providing the first bicycle parking route, Utrecht is creating more space for bicycles and a better cycling experience. We have a group of visitors from Fingal County Council and we are doing a three days study cycling tour in the Netherlands. The first day we are visiting the city of Utrecht, which is in the middle of the country and has a good name for its cycling facilities and cycling policy. A lovely place to cycle. We did that uh, on the first day. On the second day we do the city of Den Bosch, which is in the southern part of the country, a smaller town, let's say 160,000 people. A lovely place, a long history, a consistent policy time in the last 20-25 years. Very successful, a very popular place for a tourist to go as well. Nice countryside, nice surroundings. And on the third day, we return to Utrecht. We leave the city and we go to a commuter town on the eastern part. And that town is called De Bilt. And it is surrounded by nice landscapes. And so it's a smaller town, smaller problems, but still a very interesting cycling uh, surrounding. So very good treatment of public space, good uh, traffic circulations, traffic calming, cycle parking. So it's a good variety. And all over the three days, we, we explain the policies from, let's say, street level up to governmental level and all decisions in between about finance, about decisions in the councils, decisions on street and public participation. So all aspects, all items, which is part of improving uh, our cities in the Netherlands for cycling and walking, of course, because if you do something for cycling, most of the time you can combine that for walking, uh, as it's called, is active travel. And even further than that, the main goal of all these three places, not just providing for cycling and walking, but it's also for improving the public realm, the public space. So the secret of um, providing a good cycling environment, a good walking environment, a good being, sitting, staying there environment, is how to treat the public space. That is the main goal, and to give the guests from Fingal County Council a good feeling. How does it work? What is the background? How is it financed? How it is organized? Where were the obstacles? How are the obstacles solved? Which places did they make innovations, kind of trials, new tricks, new things? What did they learn themselves? What kind of mistakes they made? It's not just showing, but it's also explaining how they did the job and where they had met difficulties and how they overcame these difficulties. We're here in the Netherlands and uh, with a study group from Fingal County Council to help us progress our active travel programme across the county. And I suppose if you think about it, what better country to be in than the Netherlands, given their strong and long established reputation for cycling. We've had a wonderful couple of days here in Netherlands, looking at uh, great examples, practical examples on the ground on uh, various different towns and cities and how they've implemented active travel schemes over the decades, in fact. Uh, but most importantly is the knowledge sharing that we have uh, managed to uh, get together here and discuss the various different things that we need to know. We have similar goals, sim similar objectives, but we also have very 
similar challenges. We've similar type of people, we've similar type of weather, and we've similar challenges with regard to uh, the love of the car and uh, moving forward into uh, a transport modal shift. So I think it's been quite refreshing uh, and it will help us build on the very significant um, success we've had to date and also move forward in what is quite a challenging, essentially a, a behavioural change project in Fingal. Cycling represents freedom. It offers freedom for everybody to move through and around cities and towns in a way that is convenient, pleasant, healthy, cheap and good for the environment. Utrecht was named best cycling city in the world and people of all ages are able to cycle safely and even more people opt to use the bicycle to visit Utrecht and its neighbouring municipalities. Utrecht has a population of 360,000 in 2022. The city is part of an urban area with over 700,000 inhabitants. It is an area with a huge growth potential for bicycle traffic. About 60% of the working population lives less than 15 kilometres from their place of work and can cycle to work by bicycle. The city council considers cycling and walking as the most important means of transport in the city. Bicycle parking capacity is still extending and they are building a network of major bicycle routes connecting the city to the region. It's been absolutely wonderful to be here and I think it's so beneficial for council staff to see um, places like Den Bosch and um, Utrecht because it's just really so inspirational to see how livable these cities are and um, people are you know walking freely, cycling freely and it's you know just a really wonderful system they've set up here so it's given us a lot of food for thought and um, I think it's really going to help us build on what we've already achieved in Ireland. The idea of a study tour is to get the experience of the Dutch their decades of experience of cycling infrastructure, how cycling enables you to, uh, to do things like have seating outside, have the market here and still have the place vibrant and still have the city vibrant and business to keep business vibrant. It's, it's not just about cycling, it's about what that enables. In the Netherlands, cycling is seen as a big enabler of having a more livable city. It's not just cycling as an end goal, but cycling is is a tool in the toolbox of having a more livable and more sustainable city and same with the towns here they're they're more livable and sustainable because cycling enables that it looks great here they've hit 37 percent uh, bicycle and walking usage so we've great plans for fingal and i'm looking forward to working on them very hard with the council i can see lots of opportunities in fingal and back in ireland for similar such initiatives and look forward to helping deliver some of them Everybody really grows up with biking. Yeah, that's the, the, the first bike, thing bike everybody learned next to walking as a kid is like biking. So everybody grows up with it and it's like really also promoted in the Netherlands. Using a bicycle is, is also way more convenient. Yeah, it's really convenient.